What's up, Finnerbenders? And today I'm going to be reviewing the Emperor's Throne Room Diorama set. It's set number is 75352, has 807 pieces, retails for $100, has three minifigures. That's only a general formation. So let's get to the box now. The box is pretty nice. I like the nice diorama box they have. You know, the designer box, I'd say. Like, this is the display box sets. These are it with the black background with some light behind the set itself to give it, pop it out some more. Looks very nice just having the set sit there along with just the basic black band on the bottom, the name there, and Star Wars there. On top, we have Luke Skywalker, his new hair piece. I hope that looks good on him when I actually see it with the, these two sides having nothing more than just basics. With the nice side box art of Emperor Palpatine staring at you, and it says Diorama Collection there. Really cool. I actually really love this side box art. Generally, most times it's like, oh, cool. I'm glad it's there. Always love it there. But this is one of my favorites. On the back, we get to see a picture of the throne completely without Emperor Palpatine in it. Another scene. And real life image of the, of the whatchamacallit of the fight itself. And then the Lego version of it along with the dimensions of it. Pretty nice. Let's get this open up and let's see the instructions. With this open up, let's pull one bag out. Bag one itself. Nice. It's nice to see the first bag I pull out. And, oh, we got a little bit extra. It's just some tubing lying around. Let's dump this out now. Okay, there's the instructions. We get another uh, really long tube. So, two different sizes just to show you. Okay, because you won't see this in built form. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's look at the number of bags first. So, we got one, two, four. It looks like four's going to be the top. Number five. Five is the biggest number here. And we get the nice new, uh, I guess, UCS style instructions. That's what I'm going to call them. UCS style instructions. So of a black background. It's going to be white with these black bricks here. And I really, really actually love it. Let's see the front here. And we get a nice front. Actually, unless the, unlike the P, P and G rendering, which I, I don't have the instruction book to show you right here right now. But unlike the P and G rendering of it, we actually get a nice picture of it. But anyway, let's open this up. We do get some nice talking about vip i guess because these are the people who wouldn't have vip if they were not new lego get some reading in here actually quite a bit of reading i'm just going to show you those were reading pages and then we get to the building process with the back having you could win and no advertisements zero zero, zero advertisements good fine with me but anyway Let's get this set built and let's see the minifigure. Our first minifigure up is Darth Vader. And if you've watched my TIE Bomber review recently, then you will know that I this is the exact same Darth Vader as that Darth Vader. So not much to go over. Nice detailing on the torso, the legs. He has good old back printing with a nice cape there, a nice play cape style so it won't be ruined. Has a good old lightsaber with the new lightsaber design with the frosted blade and it has arm printing he has arm printing and he has a the normal helmet with him being angry there which is glad that i'm glad he looks angry and sometimes he actually is smiling which is kind of weird but this one he is angry in so i'm happy and there's the back of the head there looks pretty nice indeed but anyway let's go to our next mini our next mini figure is emperor palpatine and you will notice that he does have lightning but you can also hide the lightning in the set too so We'll show you that later. But Emperor Palpatine is a great minifigure. He has amazing torso printing. It looks very much like Emperor Palpatine himself. Did I say Darth Vader earlier? I am so sorry. This is Emperor Palpatine, not Darth Vader. <laughs> Just realized that like 20 seconds in. But anyway, they do have the same exact cape. So nothing too crazy there. And he has some basic back printing. Along with, he does have the new hood mold that's been around for a few years now. And here's his first face and the second Here's his second face, and I did mess up his cape, but it's an easy fix to show you guys. You just move that around. And the second face is just one of normal nonchalant look. But anyway, let's go to our last minifigure. Our last minifigure, and probably the most exciting minifigure in the set, is Luke Skywalker. And that's because of the new hairpiece mold. He does come with a green lightsaber that has the new frosted lightsaber look that's been out for a few years. Cool. But anyway, Luke has his usual normal face as he always has. So you'll know what the second face is, which I'll show you in a second. But he has some nice torso printing and some nice back printing. It looks just like for movie six. It works perfectly. And we have a way more accurate... What the heck? Zoom back in on him. Way more accurate hairpiece here, which is amazing. I love this hairpiece. It is so great. I hope this is on all 
future Luke Skywalkers. I don't know why that's going out of focus. But anyway, guys, that's Luke Skywalker. Oh, wait. Here's a, second, Here's a phase. second phase. Let's go to the set now. This diorama set has some really cool design features. Let's go over those first before we go over anything else on the set. So yeah, we're just going to go with the design features first. On the back is the amazing window. And just a fair warning right now, this is a pretty tedious design. It's going to take some time and it's not going to be perfect. If you can probably tell, you can probably tell it's a little bit off. You just have to live with that. I worked on mine for probably about five, 10 minutes and I was like, okay, I'm done. This is making me frustrated. So I gave up and it still looks just as phenomenal as even if it was perfect. Another pro a problem with this is the window does go off. So you can now see it's kind of off. I just have to move it up and it will fix itself. Otherwise it looks really nice. I love the back window, it looks amazing. <laughs> let's go back up to the front here. Now let's go over the set. The set has a quote on the front. I'm a Jedi like my father before me by Luke Skywalker. And these are printed. There are no stickers in the set. Thank goodness. We do get the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi break. And in my opinion, it looks fine either way with or without it. But I honestly like that little added detail there. We do get some little workstations here. This is what they are in Star Wars canon. canon. They do not have them though functioning in the Lego set. So big problem another thing on the platform here is it is diorama style just like dagobah and all the rest of the dioramas along with we got some railing here to just show the railing and we have plenty of studs to put minifigures on as you can see right there and we have some stairs leading up to the platform nice gray light gray flooring and top of the window here which then leads to emperor palpatine's throne which is purple and black amazing throne it looks goaded let's put emperor palpatine in it so emperor palpatine can basically chill in it usually what i do is i put his hands up pretty high and then we kind of fit his cape around him so his cape doesn't look too bad and then you kind of turn his hand slightly on i know this is taking a little bit but you turn his hand slightly down like that i think he needs a little bit more but that's basically him sitting there watching the fight or if you don't want him to you can have him turn around backwards looking out so yeah, pretty cool indeed. You got plenty of studs here for even Luke Skywalker to look out the windows of. And then these are your main two studs that you will use for your two minifigures to display them. So I was going to do a basic display here of them just fighting. Very generic, but you get the gist. That's where the main fight is, but you can also have studs down here to have them fighting here, have him up here, have Luke down here. You know, plenty of versatility on the stances, as you can see there that's about about it right there um one last feature is where do we put the lightning and there's a few ways to put this in there has been a youtube short out for it already on how to do it but i'm just going to do it real quick to show you there's a secret access panel with two blue clips you can see right at the bottom of your screen and then you can just put the lightning in like that and then you put one down and put the other down and then you can simply put the plate back on you can also easily access it down there but that's a lot of work another thing is you don't want to mess around with these sections too much because if you'll notice they will break off quite easily mine is broken off right now just to show you as an example it is broken off they do break off easily they do not come off easily but they do break easily but that's not really a problem you're not really going to mess around with this set too much and let's give you that look right there they do have the stands there which is actually accurate to the movie these stairs are actually it's kind of like a second floor along with it and then there's your back view you can see the technic supports along with there's the view on this side it looks a very solid set but anyway let's go to my overall opinion overall i give this set a nine out of ten that's what it deserves my main problem with this set is uh, it needs two more minifigures, a.k.a. the Imperial Royal Guards that are in this set. That's what I would really like. It would be cool to just have them sitting right here looking menace menacing, basically. Look really nice indeed. Otherwise, this set is solid. It is a nice size for $100. It's pretty solid. And like I said, they can also get away with these three minifigures for $100. It isn't as bad as the, if I remember correctly, $80 indoor speeder chase scene. That is pretty bad. This is at least a normal sized one for what it is. And it's a fun build. One of the funnest builds I've had, but also one of the more challenging. So take that there, but very good mini figures, very good everything. And I, this is kind of weird looking. Anyway, 
That's going to be it for this review, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not a Fenderbrenner yet, I guess hit the subscribe button. We are the fastest growing car crash in America. Check out my Lego, Lego, other Lego content. Check out my Clash of Clans content. And bye.